Good evening. I'm Ben Pobji, professional futurist and inventor of the flash mob, and I'm here to explain climate change. This is the world, mother and home to us all. It provides us with land to live on, food to eat, and water with which to scrub the sin from our naked bodies. But what happens when our globe begins to warm? In a very real sense, this is what's happening to us every day. Climate change is the gigantic space ogre wielding a lit match near a tiny globe that threatens to kill us all. But what is climate change? A simple analogy may explain it better than I can. If you imagine that this globe is the actual globe, and if you imagine that the sun is a gigantic basketball somewhere here, now imagine that every day we are spewing gases into the atmosphere that form a shiny glass orb, much like a snow globe, around both the basketball and the earth. Imagine that this therefore prevents the natural rays of the basketball from escaping into space as would normally happen with a regular basketball. So instead, the basketball rays are directed downwards at the earth, causing chaos. What can we do to stop this basketball crushing us all to death in its mighty jaws? Our government has the idea that a carbon tax will solve climate change. How does a carbon tax work? Well, firstly, Julia Gillard and Bob Brown get together for a powwow. Mmm, 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 Bob. Je And then there's Tony Abbott, the sly Australian fox, who wishes to address climate change through direct action. Thus, which of these approaches is the true answer? Only time will tell. But there's something that you and I and several other people who we know personally and perhaps indirectly through friends can also do to address climate change on a local level. If you were to go outside and see something on fire in your front yard, whether that be a small shrub, an old car, a pet or a loved one, what would you do? You would pour water on that fiery object. Now imagine applying that on a society-wide scale. Imagine if we as a species could pour water on the burning pet that is our planet. If all of us took 10 minutes out of our day to take a bottle of water outside and pour it onto the ground, we could cool the earth by 6 degrees by 2020. And then perhaps we would not see future generations cursing their forefathers and foregrandfathers as they run wildly about screaming in pain from the searing, blistering heat beating down upon them and wondering why did our ancestors feel so selfish that they ha hadn't even the time to pour some water on the ground. I've been Ben Pobji, this has been Climate Change, and I'll see you on the lawn with some Mount Franklin. Good night and happy tomorrows.